Hello again, BK, and welcome back to our week four, aka our last week of our series, Amazed. But don't worry, when one door closes, another one opens up. We have a brand new series for y'all next month, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's say a quick prayer and see what amazing things we will learn today. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the amazing things you do, not only for me, but for my friends and my family as well. Thank you for always loving us. I ask that you open my heart to receive your message today. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this past month, we have been talking about all the amazing things God has done. Can you think of some amazing things He's done in your life? I'm sure there are plenty. I know one amazing thing He has done in my life is allowing me to go visit my family in New Hampshire this past week. That was pretty amazing. Wait a minute, that kind of sounds like our big idea. It is. God does amazing things. Let's say our big idea one more time together. God does amazing things. Let's check in with Carl and see what amazing thing God has done for him. Hi, hey, y'all. Today's going to be a great day. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Y'all, have you read this book? It's called the Bible. It's amazing. I know, I know. We talk about it every week, but holy moly, it has some incredible stories in it. Did you know a donkey talks in it? There's a cloud of fire in the Bible. Dude gets swallowed by a fish. Fish! I'm telling y'all, this book is amazing. DJ! Carl, how you doing, man? Couldn't be better. What's got you in such a good mood? Well, where do I start? I keep looking through the Bible, I keep finding amazing things that just happen. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, huh? Out of nowhere. It's amazing. That is amazing. You know what, Carl? What? I think you should take some time and wait for something amazing to happen. Now? Yeah, right now. And you call me when something amazing happens out of nowhere. Well, I mean, all right. I'll do that. Talk to you in a bit. All right. Well, I guess I'll just wait until something amazing happens. Hmm. Ouch. Oh, something amazing is going to happen today, but I don't know what. What? Uh. Oh, that's a mole I've never seen. I'm a monster. Ah! <laughs> All right, I give up. I'm going to call TJ. TJ! What's up, Carl? Nothing happened. What? What do you mean nothing happened? I mean, I sat here and nothing amazing happened. I mean, I did find my gum in my shorts from last week, but nothing amazing happened. Huh. So something amazing didn't just come out of nowhere? Not even a bit. I was so sure because I read the Bible and it happens all the time. Well, maybe because those things aren't random and not just coming out of nowhere. What do you mean? Well, look at 2 Kings 2. Well, what happened in that? Well, you remember Elijah, right? Of course. Amazing things happened to him. Well, God called another person to fill in Elijah's place for when he would leave. What was the other person's name? Elisha. Elisha? Yep. So, Elisha is going to take Elijah's place? Yep. Yeah, their names are pretty similar. 
but God had different plans for each one of them. Both of them were walking together, and there were about 50 other prophets watching them. And there were talks that Elijah was going to stay with God that day. Wow, that sounds pretty intense. It sure was. When they came to the Jordan River, they stopped. Elijah took off his outer robe, folded it up, and dipped it in the river. What? Why? I don't really know. But he must have known something. But the water split so that there was dry ground for them to walk on. What? That's amazing. Well, just wait, because right after, in the sky, there was something even more amazing about to happen. Was it a plane? A bald eagle? A hot dog with wings? A cloud in the shape of a macaroni and cheese? What was it? A chariot of fire and horses of fire came down and separated Elijah from Elisha. Then it took Elijah in a whirlwind up to heaven, and Elijah was gone. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh, Carl? 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 You okay, man? Carl? That is amazing. I can't believe that just happened to Elijah. Out of nowhere. Just randomly. You see, Carl, this is why I want to tell you this story. Why? This didn't happen just randomly or out of nowhere. God did that. Well, what do you mean? I mean, God did all of that. The chariot of fire, the horses of fire, the splitting of the Jordan River. All those miracles you see in the Bible, God did. All of it? I mean, every single miracle? Yes, man. God is so powerful, so creative, and so loving. God chooses to do amazing things all the time. Wow, that is so cool. God does amazing things. Yep. And lucky for you, that's our big idea. No! What? Our big idea today is God does amazing things. That's right, so let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God does, does amazing things. God sure does. Woohoo! <laughs> well, TJ, my mind is officially blown. <laughs> Why is that? I guess I always knew that God did some amazing things, but all those amazing things? That's incredible. It sure is, man. And get this, it's because of God that we can do amazing things. That's true. Kind of like how I can do this. <laughs> Carl, that's nasty. That, uh, okay, kids, we'll see you guys next week. Y'all, Carl, stop sticking things up your nose. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. I love checking in with Carl. He always puts me in such a better mood. So, so far, we have been reading about all the amazing things God did through the prophet Elijah. God helped him bring back a young boy back to life. He won a challenge against the false gods. Even when Elijah grew so tired and felt so alone that he wanted to give up and end it all, God spoke to him in a whisper on the mountain. And what comes next is amazing too. Our story for this week takes place in 2 Kings 2. God was going to take Elijah up to heaven, but who would carry on the work Elijah was doing? God was going to take Elijah up to heaven, but who would carry on the work Elijah was doing? God told Elijah that he was to train Elisha to be the next prophet. Elisha wanted to do things for God just like Elijah. One day they were walking and talking together when suddenly a chariot and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this, cried out, but didn't see Elisha anymore. When Elisha cried out to the Lord to ask for help in being the next prophet, did God answer? Yes. Elisha inherited the blessings of Elisha, and God did so many amazing things through him when Elisha was taken to heaven. Let's watch a video to help us understand the story a little better. God told the prophet Elijah, to find a man named Elisha. Elisha would be a prophet to Israel after Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. 
he found Elisha plowing a field, and Elisha followed Elijah and served him. When the time came for the Lord to take Elijah up to heaven, Elijah and Elisha traveled to Gilgal. At Gilgal, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Bethel. At Bethel, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Jericho. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Jericho. At Jericho, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to the Jordan River. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to the Jordan River. A crowd of prophets watched Elijah and Elisha as they stood by the river. Elijah rolled up his cloak and hit the water with it. The river parted and they crossed to the other side. Elijah asked, is there anything I can do for you before I go? Elisha said, I want a double portion of the spirit that you have. Elijah said, if you see me go, you will have it. Suddenly, a chariot of fire with horses of fire appeared and drove between them. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha watched as Elijah went away. Then he picked up Elijah's cloak and went back to the river. He hit the water and it parted for him to cross to the other side just as it had for Elijah. The crowd of prophets was there watching and they saw that the spirit that was with Elijah was now with Elisha. The prophets searched for Elijah, but they could not find him since God had taken him up to heaven. God gave Elisha the same spirit that was in Elijah, so Elisha could carry out his mission as a prophet. Years later, Jesus told his followers to wait for the Holy Spirit. God gives believers the Holy Spirit so they can share the gospel with the world. Wow, God did some amazing things with Elijah, especially when he took him up to heaven in a whirlwind. And God planned to do so many more amazing things with Elijah. Isn't that amazing? Let me ask y'all something. How many of you have ever had something delivered to you? Maybe pizza? Mm. Or maybe even a package from Amazon? Amazon delivers amazing things, but they're all things that you have to pay for, even if you're a Prime member. But you know what? God delivered the most amazing gift to us. And it's free. No shipping, no tax. Just as God delivered Elijah to heaven, when we believe in Jesus, God will give us a way to heaven through Jesus. Let's look at John 14, 12. It says, I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same work I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. Jesus said whoever believes will do the works Jesus has been doing and will do even greater things than Jesus. God does not just do amazing things in the Bible. God does amazing things right now. God performed miracles back then and God performs miracles now. Oftentimes we put God in a box, but putting God in a box means you are eliminating what God can do. You may think that God can't heal this person or change this person or not even be able to provide for you. We might do this because what we want God to do seems too big to actually happen. God did amazing things with Elijah. God can also do amazing things in your life. Don't limit what God can do by putting God in a box. And just like God took Elijah to heaven, one day Jesus will come back for us to take us to heaven too. Now that's something amazing we can look forward to. Let's say a quick prayer. Thank you, God for the life of Elijah. Thank you for the amazing things you did for him, and thank you for the amazing things you do for me. Amen. Well, BK, it's that time again. But before that, let's take a look at our memory verse for the last time. 
Deuteronomy 7.21 The Lord your God, who is present with you, is a great and awesome God. Let's say it together. The Lord your God, who is present with you, is a great and awesome God. Nice job! It's officially the end of the series Amazed. If you're joining us here at church today, don't forget to do all the worksheets we have provided for y'all. And tune in next week as we start our new series, Sing. Bye.